Chances are that if you've looked at Marvel Studios on any social media in the last year, you've seen it all. Marvel Studios is officially dead. They're in shambles. They haven't released a successful project since Avengers Endgame. It's all downhill. Box office is at a record low. Nobody's buying merchandise. Marvel is dead. They're never going to recover. Marvel went woke. So they went woke. And so forth and so forth. So let's hear what Kevin Feige says about all of this. The one thing that's very clear about any franchise is a failure gets a lot more attention than a victory. We know this. Now, of course, there's definitely been a couple of blunders and missteps by Marvel Studios. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I love the Eternals and that it was great and that everybody loved it. That's not the case. I'm not going to pretend that Thor Love and Thunder was something I really loved. I know other people did, and despite the fact I hate that film, it still made over $750 million. Doctor Strange, over $850. WandaVision, Loki, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Moon Knight, all major victories. Werewolf by Night, a victory. But all that's been overshadowed with a couple of missteps like Eternal. In some people's opinion, She-Hulk and Miss Marvel, but Miss Marvel has a huge international market, one of Marvel's biggest shows ever. And then of course we got the recent bombs, The Marvels and Quantumania. Two bombs in one year, but of course there was Guardians 3 in between them, but people overlooked that. Two bombs is not good, but there's definitely a problem. So speaking with E.T., Marvel Studios' Kevin Feige was straight up asked, how do you feel about all the reports about Marvel Studios falling apart and that it's not what it used to be? How do you feel about the fact that you just put out a failure like the Marvels? And how do you feel about the future after these missteps? And he said, well, we released two projects back to back, widely different, referencing Loki season two and the Marvels. And he says, yeah, the buzz is out there, but... Thousands of people worked on these, and they laid a foundation for more projects. And just like other studios committed to what they're doing, that's what they're going to do. Yes, there's going to be changes. Yes, there's going to be assessment. But Marvel Studios is going to continue to work at what they've worked on the best, which is superhero films and TV shows. And also, he did say in a separate interview that they're definitely looking at the criticism and taking their time and assessing the whole situation. So we've already seen this. Daredevil gave in. They got a showrunner. They got new directors. They're taking longer to make sure it's authentic. They already said they're going to take their time with X-Men and Fantastic Four and Deadpool 3 and what happens next. They, of course, talked about directors that lead projects and new writers. They said they're now actively looking for the best choice possible, no matter what is going on and that they're not going to rush things before they're due again he's acknowledging and saying look we hear you but yeah things got to change and we're going to be at the forefront of it so wait and see and honestly it's all he can say i mean look if we say the mcu is dead with like four misfires in five years then dc comics is never recovering they should just literally never release another product again See what I mean? Like, you know, perception.